Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the Nikon Z5 and it sure packs a punch. To turn on the camera, turn this dial clockwise and take off the lens cap by squeezing and pulling. This is the shutter button. Hold it down, but don't press it in all the way to focus and then press in all the way to take a photo. Hold this button down and spin one of the dials and this will increase or decrease the exposure. Increase or decrease the ISO by turning this dial and holding down the button that says ISO. To record a video, press this button when in filming mode. Depending on what mode you're in, these dials will do different functions. Now changing the mode to manual will allow you to customize every function in this camera. Now these settings are custom. You can set them beforehand and every time you use the camera will have the same functionality. In this mode, the camera changes all the settings so that you don't have to worry about any of these things. This mode actually just changes the exposure for you. Now this mode lets you change the shutter easily. This would allow you to take fast photos. This dial allows you to change the actual distance that the camera can see. And this camera can go from 24 to 50 millimeters. This button allows us to manually adjust the focus. By scrolling on this wheel, we can adjust the depth of field. By pressing this button, we can select a subject to be tracked with this point. It's important to keep in mind that the subject has to be in frame to be able to rack the autofocus to. Here we can adjust attachments like a tripod plate. Here is where the battery is. Make sure when putting the battery back in, you align the pins. Doing this incorrectly could break the camera. After taking a photo, you can view it by pressing this button or throwing it in the trash with this button. Right here, you can change the display options. Seeing through the eyepiece only, seeing through the eyepiece and the screen, or just seeing through the screen. This dial allows people with glasses to see through the eyepiece. By pressing this button, you can scroll through the different display options. By going into this mode, you can record videos. This is crucial to actually record the videos. This button changes what focus mode you are in. Autofocus, manual focus, or continuous autofocus. This joystick allows you to move the focus point. By pressing the information button, we can change the color profile, the frame rate and video quality, and other fast settings like that. By pressing this button, we can change if we want a single frame or a burst of photos. By pressing this button, we go to the menu. Depending on what mode you're in, you may be able to select different things on the screen. Since we're in aperture priority, we can change the f-stop. These buttons on the side are custom map buttons again. To take the lens off, turn clockwise and press this button. To put it back on, align with the dot on the lens and on the body and turn counterclockwise. These parts on the side are little flaps where you can plug in your microphone or your headphones to listen to the actual audio. These places allow you to connect a dongle, HDMI, or connect to a computer. 
On the other side, we have the SD compartment, which holds two SD cards. Push the SD card in and it will release itself and you can pull it out. And that's how you use the Nikon Z5.